Hello everyone and welcome back to Pixelmon Nuzlocke. Last time we left off, we were we evolved um, Pira into a Magnazone, and today we're hopefully gonna get uh, a lot of progress done towards evolving Ace into a Pidgeot. But first things first, we're at level 30, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my levels. Hopefully get a Looting Sword. Nope. Unbreakable and sharpness. I don't know why I said unbreakable. It's unbreaking. So, Ace, you are up. So, ideally, we'd find some grass Pokemon, some bug Pokemon. There's a Gloom. So that's a good start. Well, 29? Not bad. fact of the matter is, we also need some better moves on Ace if he's going to stay in the team. Agility is great and all, but it's not really the kind of thing that I'm looking for. Boop. There we go. Lovely. Okay, that Rattata looks like it's pretty scrappy. Let's avoid him. I see weeping bells. I see lots of weeping bells. Let's deal with the weakest one for. Okay, well, let's deal with just the weakest one because all the other ones are freaking scary. 32. Isn't too bad. Nice. Very nice. 40 and 41 are kind of terrifying to me. I'm, per I'm sure I could probably take it, but I don't know that for a fact, so no. So nope, 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 nope. All of the nope. So we'll just avoid those and we'll keep looking elsewhere. As we do. What was that big thing? Oh, it's a furret. It's a really big furret. There's a flaffy. Definitely don't want to fight that thing. Uh. I've got two flying types now. I'm wondering if there's somebody I should get to even out the team a little bit more. I'd love to get an Eevee, so I'm going to be paying... Um, I've always been playing, paying very close attention to this horse right here. If I should ever spot an Eevee while going around, uh, we'll definitely pick that up. And then an Umbreon would be fantastic for the team. It's just a, a special tank. <laughs> Although I do have lots of weakness to steel or to fighting types, so maybe another dark type. Isn't the best investment, after all. Uh, not that there we run many risks of finding a fighting type, I guess. But fighting type moves aren't uncommon, I guess. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. A third member might have to be something that counters fighting types a little bit more reliably. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Seriously, I'm having a lot of trouble here finding some grass types. Is it because I've, like, destroyed all the grass? <laughs> There's a skip loom. There's a couple skip loom. I 
level 28 Arbok. Okay, quick attack. Where's the last one? Where'd the Arbok go? Oh, well, hi. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, Mill Tank. All right, Gust. There we go. Another level, 33. Easy peasy. We're probably gonna be, assuming I can keep finding Pokemon to fight, uh, I would not be surprised if we hit Pidgeot this episode. I don't think Pidgeotto's um, experience curve is that steep, so Ace should not have any trouble reaching the top of it. I hope. That is, of course, assuming we can find stuff for Ace to fight, which, you know, remains to be seen. We've been having a pretty slow go of it lately. There's some more skip looms. Perfect. A jump bluff would be fantastic. We've assessed that they're pretty much harmless. We've established, I should say, is the word I'm looking for. So glad, uh, yeah. I'm so glad poison doesn't work outside of battle in this game. There's more skip looms, at least one anyway. Okay, so I don't think it'll despawn if I go to the center. So let's do that real quick. Some pretty like uh. The music is definitely not shy, is it? It's really going for it. It's nice. I love the music in Pixelmon. Okay, the skip loom did not disappear. So, here comes a dead skip loom. Oh, well, it's not as bad as poison powder. That went well. All right. More skip looms, please, or jump bluff would be actually way better. I would much prefer jump bluff. And we're right by the center. Why not heal up? Oh. Easy as that. Ponyta are good for experience, but I don't have a type advantage, so I'm a little bit worried about trying that. Because um, that's for sure that they are no pushovers. Lots of electric types out here, it's kind of nerve wracking. There's another skip loom, though, so. And it's only level 18. Ugh. Well, single PP for 300 experience. I'd still say that's a good trade. I wouldn't say that's a waste of time. Okay, sun's setting, so we're gonna be running out of daylight here. And as a result, we'll, we'll run out of uh, grass types. Might get a few more bug types in the forest, but we haven't really been checking that too thoroughly. I kind of climbed through it on treetop earlier, but I don't think that was the most conducive way to uh, explore it. Although it's really hard to get through the forest without the trees in the way. Okay, this is good. Nice. Some money, some experience. Not great experience, but experience nonetheless. Whitney's having a good time. She doesn't want to stop at all.
Boop. Alrighty. I guess I'm gonna go head back into the forest. Because why not? I don't know. Ooh, a Heracross. What level? 17? Uh, not high, but I'm pretty sure Heracross are worth like a boatload of experience, so. Yeah, 471 for its level? That's pretty good. And uh, it did get us to 34, so that's awesome. Okay, what else we got? Uh, do 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 do. Okay, a bunch of people standing out here. Move tutors? Yeah, move tutors. I'm hearing Mareep and Voltorp, both things I want to avoid. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna put Tumblina up front because chances are I will get aggroed by a um an electric type. Or poison type. Those will be the only things that I run into that I don't intend to fight. As far as I can tell. And Ponyta is a fire type, so, you know, yeah, absolutely. Ground type is a good advantage against literally everything. Ugh, Beldum? Oh, I have Twister. Oh, not a Dratini. Oh, Dratini needs a needs a new needs a new uh, model. I think Dragonite's been updated, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think it looks as like old school as it used to. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Dragonair and Dratini are still a little on the older side, kind of similar to. Um, Gyarados. Although Gyarados's movement now is the the movement on the model is a lot nicer than it used to be for sure. Uh, I used to, I think it used to just be a static thing and then it just kind of glided across the ground. Like, what is that? Oh, that's an Abra sitting in a pond. Is that a thirteen? It is. Whoa. Slow, bro? Okay, I, I'll admit I was not expecting that. Okay, Yawn is annoying. Whoa. Oh, Pachirisu? Absolutely not. Okay, it's using Bide. Um, well, this is going to be terrible. Bustle. Okay. Could have been worse, I suppose. Slow bro. Pachirisu, Plusle. That was a weird team. That was a really weird team. SRG? SPG? S... Yeah, I think that's SPG, right? And with a triangle up the middle of the... Well, middle-ish. Kind of offset from the middle, because... Well, actually, is it? It might be up the middle. I don't know. Regardless. I wonder what that stands for. Hmm. 
still not many grass types in the area, huh? Jump pluff would be awesome. There's another trainer. I guess we can keep getting money. Uh, 41 grand? Wow. Oh, poor little Pidgey. Oh, Yawn is so annoying. Okay, let's wait for that Fury attack to go. Oh, poor Mankey. And Trap Pinch to finish it off. 246 bucks. Nice. Alright, let's heal up again. Boop. Alright, I said we were probably going to get uh, a Pidgeot this episode. But then the game decided to, you know what, go ahead and say, nah, nah, nah. That overconfidence, that doesn't fly. Okay, jump pluff. You're up now. Yeah, there we go, 35. That worked out extraordinarily well. See, that's why I want jump pluffs. Jump pluffs are fluffy and squishy and give a ton of experience. Boop. Lovely. Thank you. Little Lekins there. Being a brat. Okay. Let's see. Oh, hello. Big, mean Grand Bull at level 54. Ooh. That is some serious power. Standing right there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Got some Snubbles. There's a Mareep up there. Togetic. Togetic, right? Yeah, Togetic. Togekiss is the, the big last one, which I don't think is in this. At least I'm pretty sure there's no Togekiss in this. Okay. Lots of core fish over here. What's with the core fish party? You guys having fun? Pelipper down there. From a certain angle, Pelipper kind of looks like Alteria in this game. <laughs> but they spawn in completely different biomes. Well, we're pretty much at time for today, and I can't find any other grass types or... Uh, anything so I'm probably just gonna end this one here and then next time we'll uh, we'll grind into a, we'll grind to a Pidgeot we'll definitely be able to get it in the next episode I believe that for sure uh, so thank you all for watching I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff as always if you did enjoy please consider leaving a like or a comment any and all feedback is always very much appreciated it helps me out a ton and I do always love hearing from you guys and I'll see you all in the very next episode. Bye for now. Ooh, this is promising.